Hi and welcome to the video. My name is Laura Robinson and I'm a sales engineer with the US CRM online sales team. In today's video we're going to take a look at social CRM scenarios for sales in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Now the profile for today's uh, demonstration really covers a, a few key points of a typical organization that might want to integrate social technologies to CRM. And the profile that I'll be representing today is a small to mid-sized business with low to moderate amounts of social data. This business is primarily business to business uh, in terms of their customer audience and their audience exists on LinkedIn and Twitter. They have one official community manager, an individual that's been hired to basically be the front person or the um, interceptor of social data and kind of apply that manual human touch to the data and determine where to distribute it within CRM. And the sales specific needs for this organization are to easily gain insight into social data, easily identify leads and distribute those leads, and then finally collaborate with other internal folks on prospects and customer engagement. So our agenda today is going to cover four topics. We're going to take a look at social sales insights featuring Inside View. We'll take a look at social lead generation featuring Parrot by Web Fortis. Thirdly, we'll take a look at internal social collaboration capabilities for sales and other people within the organization. And then finally, we'll take a look at some of the ways that that data that's been pulled in from uh, social technologies can be rolled up into different charts and dashboards within the application. So with that, let's get into the demo. So to start out this demonstration, I'm going to open up CRM. And I'm just viewing CRM through the web version of CRM. You could certainly do this all within the Outlook client for CRM as well. Um, and what I first see when I open up CRM is my CRM overview dashboard, which is just kind of a nice landing page for me as a salesperson to start from when I first open up CRM. And it's completely personalized. And so what I've got here is a view of my sales pipeline. I can see incoming leads. I can see service leaderboard. But I also have a list view of all of my open activities. So I can drill into those and get working on them right away. You'll notice that I've got this one at the top where I need to call Coca-Cola to, de to determine the products that they're interested in with this opportunity I have open with them. So I'm going to click on the regarding record because I know this is the opportunity and take a look at some of the details within that opportunity. Now we've got just some basic details here. I haven't done any customization to this form, but basically I'm in the discovery phase and that's really what's most important to me right now to get a handle on. And so what I want to do is a little bit more research about Coca-Cola. So I'm going to drill into the account record for Coca-Cola and pull it up and I'll maximize my screen here. And I've got a lot of different sections of data on my form. Uh, but towards the top, I've got a condensed section here for Inside View. And Inside View, as I mentioned before, is, is a partner of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And if I open this up, we've got the ability to drill into some uh, an aggregate of data sources for Coca-Cola. So this is going to give me information like, you know, details like the address, annual revenue, how many employees, and so on, which I can sync with CRM and push that data into CRM. But I can also see details like the people that I might be related to within this organization. And that's the first thing I'm going to do when I want to leverage some of the social insights and some of the social tools that I participate in. And so, for example, I can see if I click on current LinkedIn connections, I have one potential connection here, which is a second degree connection. So not that strong. I could further drill into any former connections here and check out any of those and see if I can leverage those relationships. And again, this is pulling in from LinkedIn here. I could also see if I've got any Facebook friends. Um, this is a little bit uh, less of a B2B type of connection that I might have typically within this organization. So I don't expect to find any Facebook friends there. Now I also have the ability to drill into this tab here called Buzz. And so this is going to deliver any information that exists on the social web about Coca-Cola. And so I can see here on Twitter some feeds from, uh, it looks like this is kind of a big piece of news here about their 2010 corporate responsibility report. So I might want to drill into that and take a look at that before I do any more discovery on this opportunity. 
I can also see any blog posts um, and this is particularly rich information for me about what's going on with Coca-Cola so I might want to leverage that too. So I could certainly go out to all these multiple varied sources and and search for this data but within CRM it delivers it right to my front door. Now this is at the organization wide level for my customer. Let's say I wanted to drill into an individual contact and I can see that I've got a primary contact here with Menno. So I'm going to click on his name and open up his contact record. Because what we can do is we can embed the same type of inside view capabilities for this contact. And I can see here that Menno is a first degree connection of mine in LinkedIn. I can also see um, that he's active on Twitter and get his tweets here. And that's fine. But let's say I wanted to take that one step further and actually engage with him on Twitter. I'm going to condense the inside view section and expand this section called Parrot. And this is another one of our partners. Uh, Parrot is by Web Fortis, their Microsoft Dynamics CRM partner. And so if I look at this Parrot window, I can see all of Menno's tweets and things that are coming into Menno. I can see what he's interested in. He's interested in a lot of different things outside of work that he tweets about. But basically, kind of get an idea of his personality and what he's looking at. And this can give you some really nice insight without, um, you know, if your relationship is, is not yet as built up, um, you can get some insight into his interests and whatnot. Now, you'll notice that when I hover over any of these items and I talked about engaging, with Menno and, and doing things here within this window is the fact that I can take actions in Twitter on these messages. So I can favorite messages, I can send direct messages, I can reply, and I can retweet directly from this venue here. I've also got the option to convert these messages into CRM records and this is where we'll um, segue into some of the community manager components of this where we can create accounts and we can create contacts and create leads and create co uh, cases as well. So let's close out of this and actually put on our community manager hat and close out some of these windows. And what I want to do now is go back to my workplace in CRM and click on the parrot link here on the left. And so within this I've got the kind of full full view of my Parrot portal here. And I'm currently logged in as CRM Online at the CRM Online handle for Twitter. And so from this, from this I can see the timeline of anybody that I'm following. I can search for different terms. I can find any direct messages. And I can also find mentions. So if I'm just one, you know, community manager within this small to mid-sized organization, I might want to pay particular attention to all the mentions and distribute that content to the right people in the right divisions within CRM. And so I've got a mention here and it is Friday as I'm recording this video and one of the mentions is from uh, this individual and he's given me a follow Friday. So first of all I'm going to say thanks for the FF and publish that and that's live. And I might also want to convert this message into a contact or even a lead. And so let's say that this individual um, is very enthusiastic about our organization. We want to follow up and maybe potentially sell some products or services. So I'm going to take this tweet and I'm going to convert it to a lead record. Now it's going to require me to clean up a little bit. Um, and that's fine. Twitter is particularly unstructured in its content. And I'm just going to enter in those initial details um, and basically hit save and close. So as the community manager, my job is essentially over right now because I've taken that social data and I've converted it to CRM data. And so what's happening on the back side is that we've got workflow that's picking up that tweet and that new lead and it is going to distribute it to the right team. 
So with that, let's switch gears and let's move into another section of my workplace called Vibe. And I'm going to put my inside sales hat on now. And Vibe is a tool kind of like Facebook for CRM where internally we can collaborate. I can collaborate with my peers in CRM and post updates, post tips and tricks, best practices, answer questions, ask questions and things like that. And I can also get system generated notifications. And so with this environment, I can see because I follow this group called Nurture Marketing, I can see any new lead that's come from Twitter because it's delivered that as a syndicated feed to me because I'm following this, um, this group here. So here's one that was created about 20 hours ago and um, I can see the details of that lead. I can, per you know, if I own that group, I can personalize that message. And this is driven off of workflow. And I'm going to go ahead and drill into that lead here. And this is a lead from Twitter from Mindy Burke. Let me maximize my screen. And again, inside view shows up here. We're going to um, ignore that for the time being. What I want to see is are there any activities I need to follow up on? And it looks like here's one. Are there any closed activities? And so this is where I can see the details of that tweet here as a custom activity in CRM, a parrot activity in CRM. I can also see that vibe notification, that vibe feed, and that's also a custom type of notification in CRM, or a vibe post I should say. So if I look at that custom activity for Parrot, and this is the tweet that was converted into a Parrot activity. I can see the details, I can see when it was created, I can see the Twitter handle there, I can see who it's related to, it's related to this lead, and I could post back through Parrot here as well. So taking it from the community manager and kind of handing it off to an inside sales rep, it completes the loop and allows me to very quickly engage with this individual. So the fourth part of this demo, and I'm going to go ahead and just close this lead window, is taking the CRM data and um, because CRM is so flexible and how you can roll up in different dashboards and analytics, uh, viewing all of this data within a social CRM dashboard. So I'm going to go back to my dashboards here and this is a, a view that applies across all types of users. Um, we can personalize it, we can also make it system wide and so within my available dashboards list I've got a social CRM data dashboard. So you know, this is definitely going to be important to community managers but it'll also be important for customer service reps who want to see trending of cases from Twitter and the service leaderboard there. Um, it's also going to be important to inside sales to see what the volume is of Twitter leads. So when we think about marketing, which is another video on this, um, we can start to track all those leads that are being generated by marketing through some of our social um, channels. And then finally, we've got a view of just all of those parrot activities. So here's the one I just uh, landed today. Um, we've got some other activities that are closed out. And so we can get a view of anything that might be open at any given time. Let's go ahead and sort by date. And we can follow up on them here as well. So you've got a lot of nice functionality just within the, the CRM data because we have taken the social data and we have converted it to CRM data here. So with that, we're going to wrap up the demo. We showed um, how to get some of those social sales insights using inside view um, at both the organization-wide level and the individual level. We took a look at um, Parrot by Web Fortis and how, as a community manager, we can start to distribute some of that social data. Uh, we took a look at Vibe, which is an internal collaboration tool that you can use to um, share data. And then we also took a look at some of the ways we can aggregate that data onto a dashboard. We'll wrap up with a few resources listed here, so please feel free to visit any of these links. And if you have any specific questions, please direct them to this email alias, and we're happy to answer your questions and, and point you in the right direction. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.